Deep in a Swiss lab, scientists are creating something very strange. An artificial intelligence made from living brain cells. They call it Final Spark. And if it works the way they say it does, it could change the future of AI, and maybe humanity, forever. Thank you so much for jumping on and talking to me about this. Thank you so much for the invitation. Final Spark is like no AI that you've ever heard of. Because instead of running on silicon, it runs on biology. Human brain cells, cultured in a lab, trained to respond to information like a living computer. This is what's called a biocomputer. It's a blend of neuroscience, synthetic biology, and artificial intelligence. And instead of GPUs, it uses neurons. Instead of code, it uses electrical impulses, like your brain does when you think. So in simple terms, uh, Final Spark is a startup in Switzerland, and we are trying to build computers from living neurons. We have a laboratory in Veve in Switzerland, and uh, we are culturing uh, cells. We try to make some computations on the neurons. And the reason why we do this is because we know when looking at our brains that neurons are much, much more energy efficient than uh, digital computers. And it's estimated by scientists that if we can build computers from living neurons, if we can make computations, if we can make it work, it will use millions of uh, million time energy less uh, than uh, digital computing. So that's the reason why we do this. So basically, Final Spark is a cluster of real living neurons. These neurons are trained to solve problems, recognize patterns, and even play games, just like some sort of digital neural net. Training a biocomputer is kind of like building this Lego Hogwarts castle. At first, it's just a messy pile of pieces. But step by step, you figure out what goes where. It's a puzzle wanting to be solved. That's how learning works, even for brain cells. But with one huge difference, biocomputers learn and adapt in ways that silicon chips never could. And that is exactly what the team at Final Spark is working towards. Our objective is not really to understand the brain because our objective is to make a biocomputing work. So we want to be successful in performing computations on neurons, but probably Probably it is very likely that the side effect of this project will be also some knowledge about how a human brain works. And we also believe that our in vitro work can be maybe one day used uh, by companies uh, like Neuralink, which try to affect the uh, workings of the real brains. If we will understand better how neurons are processing information, how they encode and decode information, it is highly probable that it will be useful also for the interaction with the real brain. Believe it or not, Will was created using AI or artificial intelligence. AI is literally changing the structure of your brain. Advances in artificial intelligence are leading to medical breakthroughs once thought impossible, including devices that can actually read minds and alter our brains. So why does this matter? Why is Final Spark potentially the scariest AI project in the world? That's because if it works, if a biological AI actually becomes scalable, we're not just talking about smarter machines. We're talking about machines that might have consciousness or something very close to it. The biggest actually challenge of all this is the fact that we don't know yet how neurons encode information. So this is still a secret. Despite, despite the fact that there is a huge uh, progress in research, in uh, neuroscience, we still don't know how actually brain exactly, how the algorithm of the brain are working. And this is also the, the biggest limitation of, of the project on biocomputing. Because at the moment, we are uh, all the programming of cells is really at the experimental phase. We still don't know exactly how to do this. Mm. All right, so much to take in. Personally, I feel like the speed that AI is moving at right now, no matter what company it is, is super scary right now. The silver lining here though, is that Final Spark is not building like Skynet or something. That will most likely be caused by Palantir Technologies. And honestly, it seems like one of the very few AI companies out there right now trying to go the eco-friendly route. Unlike Elon Musk's Grok AI, which is allegedly ruining the air quality in entire cities right now. In addition to that though, the research that they're doing on human brains right now could help with a number of diseases and complications that we as a society have yet to find any solves for. Another lingering question I had though for this company was around the idea of ethics. Like, 
when have we gone too far? Or what even is too far? We are not experts in this. Uh, so we are also just the scientists and the technical people. So we focus on technology to make it work. Uh, in order to address these ethical considerations, uh, we actually get in touch actively with philosophers who are working on, on ethics of, of technologies because every new technology is changing the world and also is bringing new problems, of course. The every technology you can use uh, to the good or to the bad. So we actively talk with philosophers. We are always happy to share everything, what they want to know about our work so that they can better uh, assess this and better think about this. Now, my last question for Dr. Iwalina was around the future. Where does she think all of this is going? We imagine that in ar around 10 or 12 years, we will have central facilities. So like today, you have a web Amazon service for uh, digital computing. In 10 years, you will have such a huge servers for biocomputing. And we believe that it will uh, dramatically will change AI industry that will be great alternative for the digital uh, chips because it will be a million times more energy efficient and uh, who knows maybe it will have also some other capacities at this stage is hard to predict if everything works we will be able to provide AI at much much uh, lower cost uh, because of uh, huge savings in energy do you think biocomputers are the future? Just because we can create this kind of stuff, do you think that we should? Now, I wanna give a huge shout out to Dr. Iwalina. I'm probably butchering her name, but huge shout out to her and the whole Final Spark team. And I am very, very interested to see where all of this technology goes. Now, having said that, if you'd like to stay up to date on everything AI and future tech, as well as join me on my adventures with all of the technology I bring along with me, consider subscribing to this channel. And it helps me make more videos like this one where I get to deep dive into subjects that I haven't really seen covered properly anywhere else on the internet. Also, if you'd like to support me in a big way, you can hit that thanks button right below this video. That donates to this channel for the cost of a cup of coffee. And most of the money that I receive, I put right back into making these videos. I've also got a bunch of links down in the description below, my Patreon, my sci-fi book, my website with all of my projects, and a bunch of other AI goodness down below if you wanna go and check that out. I'm gonna throw a video right up here that YouTube thinks that you might be interested in. I'm Eric, this is Eric's Tech World. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.